excited as I am, otherwise you wouldn't be here. I don't know about you, but Tuesday has really gotten a little extra pep in it in my life uh, since starting these. It's so much fun. All right, so we're going to go ahead and dive into the cards. I want to say thank you to everybody who uh, joined me on the last one. And uh, we've been working on getting this audio, the sound thing going right, and um, so I appreciate your patience on that. I hope you can hear me now. All right, so we're just going to dive right in, and as I'm shuffling these cards, I already see one that's ready to come out. Oh, I feel a sneeze coming. All right, so as I'm shuffling these cards, I also want to encourage you to go ahead and take a look at August 24th, 25th, and 26th. That is the dates for the event here in Reno become. It's really exciting. It's a first full-on three-day transformative event that I'm holding open to everyone who's interested, and I really, really would love for you to come. Uh, early bird tickets. The, price, the prices go up in six days. Yeah, six days. So be sure to take advantage of that while you can. I'll be talking about it more at the end of this, but I want to, I redrew cards, I even picked different cards, so we're starting all over. Um, go ahead and just kind of drop yourself in, get ready for the message, and really start to dive into what is it that you would like clarity on right now in your life, because that's what this is about. All right, which card goes first? Mm, let's go with this one. All right, so we have the King of Ariel. Your plans are working out very well. Professional and financial success using your resources wisely. So I love this card and I'm actually going to bring the card that we just pulled from the other one into this. The other one was that there is something better waiting for you. So if right now you're thinking, oh, I am not really experiencing professional financial success, I don't really know what that means, go ahead and look at your money-making space. What is it that you're doing to make money? What is your career or what is your job space? And really dig in deeply. Is this something that is in alignment with your purpose? Is this something that is in alignment with your divine path? You will absolutely know when you dig a little bit deeper. Some people go around looking for their purpose and looking for their path without even realizing that it's right there in front of them, that they're actually on it and embracing it. But really for yourself, go ahead and dig a little bit deeper. Because if you're not experiencing this professional and financial success right now, that's what this card is telling me, is that there is an opportunity coming your way or is already in front of you to step in more deeply into that and sometimes that me might mean actually pulling away from a project so that the project can start to create itself with the energy on its own um, with the other people that are going to be working on it sometimes this might also mean for you to spend more time alone spend more time uh, in meditation diving into what does your professional and financial success look like and not only what does it look like what do you want it to look like in the future I'm not talking about your mind wants, the want, want, want that we have here. I'm talking about your actually internal heart's deepest desires want. So check in with yourself and see, see what opportunities are available. And maybe these other cards are going to actually bring some awareness or clarification to that. All right, so we also have the nine of Raphael. Loves this one. There's a picture. I don't know if you guys can see it. But there's like a little... A lot of looking guy holding a, um, I totally just blanked on the name, a lamp. <laughs> a lamp that you rubbed out, the genies come out of. So make a wish, dreams become real reality, a joyful time in life. So what have you been dreaming? What have you been creating? What is it, it your heart has been wanting, that desire? What is it that has been going on with you for a long time? Because I know that some of us watching this are at different stages of your own progression. And so what this one is showing me is that, yes, if you have been doing your work, yes, you've been tuning into the Transformational Tuesdays, and not that you've simply been watching the videos, but you've actually been using them to reflect on what is your role in your life as a co-creator, as a manifestor, as a person that does have the steering wheel in your own life. 
being able to shift and change the things that you do have control over. And so what this is showing me is that the dreams that you have been dreaming are now starting to turn into reality. No matter how far away you feel that they have been, they're starting to come closer and they're starting to come closer. And so there's opportunities that are coming for you that couples and pairs so beautifully with this um, professional financial success that your plans are working out very, very well. So stay the course. And if you're listening to this and you're like, this is not resonating, take a side step. You're just a little bit off the course. So just take a side step, look around and see what your options are because it's time to just shift gears a little bit. It doesn't mean take a huge giant leap right now. It just means shift gears a little bit, maybe even just a, per a perspective shift. So this nine of uh, Gabriel, I love this too. Stay determined and move forward. So this totally, <laughs> totally goes in hand in hand with what I was just saying. That right now, stay determined and move forward. If you're not seeing it, if it's not directly in front of you, if you're not stepping into it and you're like, yes, it's starting to happen, but you're still going, okay, I still, you're manifesting, you're dreaming, you're thinking, you're visualizing, you're actually getting really really clear about what is it that you want in your life. Right now this card is saying stay determined and move forward. Be prepared for any possibility. Any possibility. So know that as you're manifesting and as you're co-creating the life that you want, that you can always end the prayer with this or something better. Because what I can tell you right now, what I can absolutely hands down promise you, is that your imagination is the only thing that limits the creation of your dreams. Your ability to see your upper limit, this is what we talked about yesterday in the Intuitive Connection Academy class, is that your upper limit of your imagination is the only thing that's limiting you. So bring yourself up out of the glass box, as we've been saying in my Earth Angels class too, bring yourself out of the glass box, let yourself sit on top of it and see what else is possible because everything, everything you have ever dreamed of is possible. You are the one that can get in your way. You are the one that can limit your beliefs. You are the one that has control of your inner world. And once you start moving the blocks from your inner world, your outer world completely starts to open up. So with that, I hope and pray that we can all find the courage to step forward, to continue to stand on the course of our true authentic self, honoring yourself first as a spark of the divine creation that you be on the inside, that internal piece of stardust that you are. Let that come out. Let that shine. Start feeding that essence of yourself because you are made of magic. This whole world that we're experiencing is a miracle in and of itself. So join us at Become. This August 24th, 25th, and 26th. It's a three-day event. I've got um, Shauna Grace, who you've seen in some of my videos. She's going to be joining as a guest speaker. Uh, Miss Christine Pereira, she's going to be joining us as well. The Earth Angels that I have here on my team uh, and a couple of our other local um, local restaurants, local um, friends and family, all from Reno are going to be there. I, we already have people coming in from out of town, uh, from all over the place. So know that this is a gathering. It is meant for you to come to experience transformation. Because when we gather together, it's one thing for us to gather and share this experience virtually. It's another thing when we all gather and are in the same room and are holding the same capacity and are sharing in the same energy and experience new levels of growth and healing and transformation. I have designed the plan for the three days to really help peel away the layers so that you can fully, fully get in tune with your divine purpose, your reason for being. Because what I can tell you is that we have those memories. We have those memories within ourselves, within our body, within our genetic construct. We have the memories of where we were before we came into the body. 
So when you start connecting in with those memories, your life changes. There's no way around it. Your life begins to change because you start to pull the blindfold off and everything starts to become different. That's what this is about. So if you're not interested in that, then don't come. And this event is not for you. If you like the way that everything is, you like your perspective on the world and you want to stay in that concrete ideal, go for it. Come to become if you want to start to shift yourself. If you want to experience your next level of awakening, it doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter if you just woke up yesterday. It doesn't matter if you just woke up 10 years ago. You will find a benefit in this event. So the link is going to be in the comment for the early bird registration. If you're part of the Intuitive Connection Academy, you have a special deal. And uh, you can find that in our Facebook group. So with that, I would absolutely love nothing more than to meet you in person. And I hope that this message for you today has really hit something that will either encourage you on your path exactly as you are to help confirm and validate that you are exactly where you're meant to be. And if you're, if you're feeling like you're a little off, that's totally okay because we've all been a little off. I was way, way, way off, not even close to my path before I started this journey. So know that there's always a way to get yourself into full alignment because as far as I'm concerned, the name of the game is fulfillment, right? Here in your heart where you know that with there's nothing more that you could do in this world than to find that fulfillment in your heart. So let's start filling all of those nooks and crannies so that you can wear a constant smile that isn't just, I choose to be happy, but that is that smile that radiance from the inside out. So I hope to see you soon, August 24th, 25th, and 26th here in Reno, Nevada. All right, have a wonderful day. Ciao.